I was talking to some of the department heads, uh, some of the female department heads. Uh oh. Maybe there's a vibe out there with certain members of the office that you are a little sexist or. Damn! Whoa. whoa. That's... Wait, are you serious? That sounds like Pan. Yeah. You know how she gets. D'Angelo, she can get really bitchy. Bitchy. Characterized by spiteful or arrogant behavior. Bad tempered. Often talking unkindly about other people. Examples. The last spot on the show is between me and Misty Mastbaum. I thought she was your bestie. She is, but my bestie's a bitchy. <laughs> She's crazy competitive. As soon as we were approached about the show, she adopted a three-legged corgi and named it Mr. Pickle. <laughs> That's crazy bitchy. Frightened little astronaut? And the best part is, Stuart showed it to a publisher friend of his, and they're interested in it. That is so cool. Absolutely not. Why? Because I don't want the whole world to know I was the frightened little astronaut. Maybe you should have called it the bitchy little astronaut. Oh, hey, when did you get here? Danny is wearing the worst Catwoman costume I've ever seen, and that includes Halle Berry's. She's not Catwoman, she's just a generic cat. And that's the kind of sloppy costuming which results from a lack of rules and competition. Sloppy, careless, lacking neatness or order. Overly casual. If you describe someone's work or activities as sloppy, you mean they have been done in a careless and lazy way. Examples. Uh, yeah, we're not postponing anything, okay? I'm pushing the vote through and it won't pass. Complimentary toothbrush? You're missing the backs of your upper canines. Sloppy technique. Excuse me, I have excellent toothbrush technique. God, I can't believe this. They're an hour late and they're just standing out there talking. Looks like Joey has a giant hand that says Rangers on it. They went to the game. <gasps> oh, they are in for a world of pain. Ross's shirt is torn. <gasps> they're late and they're sloppy. <laughs> I heard you were talking to another fella about Hess before he died, over at the hospital. No, I don't think so. What don't was his so. name again? The other fella. <laughs> you okay, Lester? You seem a bit, seem a bit jumpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just you know, um, jumpy, nervous, and worried, especially because you are frightened or guilty. Examples. Ground ball to short, Sanchez. I think I'm gonna go wait in the car. Okay. Hey, if you're on your way out, can you grab the garbage? I got it. Okay, we got it. So one out left. He's a little jumpy. Oh, go figure. A teenage boy doesn't want to hang out with his girlfriend's dad. <gasps> you're a little jumpy tonight, Manny. Anything wrong? No. Well, I'm just Have gonna... Have a seat, kid. You know, maybe it's me, but... I thought you were kind of squirrely tonight, you know, before when your mom was on the phone with the principal. An actor. Has he ever been in anything? Besides debt? No. So you like to support the arts? This is not some tawdry affair, Mr. Lumez. I care deeply about this young man. Tawdry. Looking bright and attractive, but in fact cheap and of low quality showing or having low moral standards. Examples. My mother's fears that no one would be saved that Halloween night were proven incorrect. Mr. Lundy's scene about lust made a deep impact on my brother's date. The youth was gone. She had traded her beauty for a few tawdry dollars, and now she had nothing left but shame. This is our year. With those guys out, the entire physics bowl will kneel before Zod. Well, count me out. What? Why? You want me to use my intelligence in a tawdry competition? Would you ask Picasso to play Pictionary? <laughs> Would you ask Noah Webster to play Boggle? <laughs> Would you ask Jacques Cousteau to play Go Fish? Oh, uh, stop texting me. What? Corey, he is so clingy. Clingy. Very attached to people and depend on them too much. For example, when a boyfriend or girlfriend is so obsessed with you, they want to spend all time with you. Examples. I don't know 
know if you realize this, but whenever you're between projects, you tend to get a little insecure, a little clingy. I know, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, 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 okay, stop. Stop. So, I finally catch up to her, and she says this relationship's going too fast and we have to slow down. Yeah. That is never good. And I got all needy and clingy. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's not so bad. How did you leave it? She said she'd call me. Oh! <laughs> You're a little jumpy tonight, Manny. Anything wrong? They're late and they're sloppy. She can get really bitchy. She had traded her beauty for a few tawdry dollars. You tend to get a little clingy.